Hello Grease fans and welcome to the next instalment of my Mark IV Ford Mondeo videos. In this one I tackle replacement of the rear discs and pads. Having jacked up the car, placed it on axle stands and removed the wheels, the first job is to disconnect the brake cable. All you need to do is wind back the spring loaded lever with a pair of grips and unhook the cable. The cable can then be removed from its mounting points. Next I removed the disc securing screw. Having removed the handbrake cable I got someone to sit in the car and press the brake paddle whilst I did this. You could of course apply the handbrake to remove the screw first and then disconnect the handbrake cable. Next I loosened the caliper mounting bracket bolts. There are two bolts holding the caliper mounting bracket in place. Here you can see a close up of the position of the upper bolt. The bolts were very tight so I had to use a breaker bar to loosen them. Here's a close-up of the lower bolt. I think in hindsight it would probably have been easier to remove the caliper first before loosening the bracket, but both ways will work. Next, remove the two guide pin bolts that secure the caliper to the mounting bracket. You'll need to hold the pin steady with a spanner while removing the bolt, otherwise it will turn and could damage the rubber boot covering the pin. With the bolts removed, the caliper can be removed using a pry bar or screwdriver. Place the caliper out of the way and remove the caliper mounting bracket. To get the disc off, just give it a couple of sharp whacks with a hammer. You can then clean up the hub face ready for the new disc. Don't put any grease on the hub face or the disc may not seat properly. Don't forget the new discs will have a light oil covering to protect them from corrosion during storage, so give them a clean with brake cleaner or some other form of solvent before fitting them. With the disc in place you can replace the locating screw. It doesn't have to be really tight, it's just designed to hold the disc in place during assembly and can't go anywhere when the wheel is back on. Some people don't even bother refitting the screws at all. <laughs> 
After cleaning the caliper mounting bracket with a wire brush, refit the two guide clips and put a dab of copper grease in the grooves where the pads fit. Then refit the caliper mounting bracket to the hub carrier. Next you'll need to rewind the piston in the caliper to make room for the new thicker pads. You may be able to do it with a pair of long nose pliers but it's much easier if you have a proper brake rewind tool. I'll put a link in the description for the tools and parts you'll need for this job. Next put a bit of copper grease on the tabs of the new pads, taking care not to get any on the friction surface of the pads. Then fit the pads into the mounting bracket. Replace the caliper and the guide pin bolts. You should get a set of new bolts with the pads. Finally, refit the handbrake cable and give the discs a bit of a clean. And don't forget to press the brake pedal a few times to reposition the caliper pistons. Job done.